Hello there and welcome back to the Scott Reed project and today we are going to be making a brawn and what we're going to do we're going to take this fantastic pig's head and over a course of two days we are going to turn it into something fantastic over here we call it a brawn in France fromage de tete and in America head cheese and it is totally unrecognizable the finished dish from this gruesome looking bad boy so the first thing we've got to do then is split this bad boy straight down the middle so with my big knife go in and then with a saw cut straight through the center of the head straight down the middle now you might have heard the saying you can eat everything on a pig bar the squeal and that is completely true but what we're going to do to get this into my pot we're going to have to break it down into more manageable chunks so what I'm doing here cutting off the cheek or the jowl by cheek and jowl and this in England this is a famous cut it's called a bath chap which you boil take the skin off cover in breadcrumbs and eat it like a ham so I'm next going to cut the ears off now I'm not worried about any of these hairs left on because we'll be picking it over once it's boiled I just want to get it into manageable chunks so I can get it into my pot so with the same with the other side take off its jowls so this head then I froze to keep it nice and fresh see if I can scoop the brains out with a spoon these are a delicacy you fry these soak them in milk put them in breadcrumbs there's a bit left in there Let's get this other half out. A real tasty treat. So that's the brains removed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quarter these quarters a little bit more because I know it doesn't look much and it looks a lot of bone. You'll be surprised how much meat is on this and obviously you've got to have one hell of a pot to get this into and these you know it's a dying art this this is really old school charcuterie I suppose it would be called now but it was just butchery it's what a pork butcher would do to utilize every part of the animal bar the squeal so I shall get these cut through then and we go into the kitchen and get this boiling baby now this type of cooking it's a marathon not a sprint to turn this fantastic pig's head into something amazing will take time so what I'm going to do is pick up my pig parts put them in my pot make sure they all go in you need a hefty pot for this and then go the old ears and all I'm going to do is fill that up with water add some carrots some onions and some aromats and some spices and we're going to boil that now for hours you know three minimum until this just all pulls off the bone like I said it's a marathon not a sprint but this is charcuterie this is the way we can transform this into an age-old product so I'll take that in then we'll get it topped with water get our veg in and we'll get it boiling it doesn't look so bad now already does it so I've got it on the hob then got some heat underneath it and I've added a pig's trotter this is where we'll get our extra gelatin from to set the brawn now what we're going to do we're just going to bring it up to the boil and just gently skim any of this funk that comes off the top periodically but now 
now it's starting to heat up a bit we're going to add our veg and our aromats which will impart a bit of flavour into this and obviously you know that's a full pot already I'm going to be adding a few more things to it so you need to watch this a little bit what I'm going to be adding then is I've got two onions just in half just get those in so like I said just watch this part it doesn't put your flame out I've got a leek I've got a carrot roughly chopped don't have to be too fussy skin on as well this will impart some lovely flavor and don't worry this will sink down in the next hour or so I've got some garlic cloves which I've just crushed with the skin on a little rough buki garni of fresh thyme and parsley going in five bay leaves I'm just gonna crack them to release the essential oils and I've got ten peppercorns they're going in as you can see now that beauty is well stuffed so I'm just going to gently press that down put the lid on and obviously simmer it for at least three hours and as soon as that jaw bone comes apart you know the head's done but what I'll do is I'll show you in the next hour the stage as we're getting on how we're progressing and just look at it every half hour you know skim off the scum the jobs are good and so we're about halfway through then this is an hour and a half as you can see this bubbling cauldron this bubbling how broth you can see it's sunk a bit but the meat's starting to give you can see with the spoon there it's just starting to cut through but it's going to be about another hour and a half maybe two hours you know so i thought i'd fry a few of my own homemade sausages for a snack it's got to be done this is a marathon not a sprint and you need energy that's my excuse and i'm sticking to it so we'll check it again in about an hour and a half right then so this beautiful thing has been boiling away for three and a half hours if you can look in there it's sunk nicely i'm just going to get a spoon in it's just put peeling away from the bone obviously it's hot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lift all okay that gruesome thing lift it all out i'm going to put it into a bowl now when it cools down look how jellyfied that is we will pick up pick off all the skin and the meat and you will be really surprised how much meat is on one of these especially in the cheeks and the neck and then what we'll do is we'll strain this liquor and reduce it and make it real thick and sticky the ultimate pig glue look at that man amazing so I shall just empty this out and you can see the bone just pulls out the good old pig ear now you could take that out put it on a sheet put another sheet over the top put a weight on it and when it cools it'll be perfectly flat brush it with mustard in breadcrumbs fry it in the pan that's another dish you've got off piggy's head stunning but I'm just going to chop that up and put it in with the rest of my mix it really is a bit gruesome this bit there's its snout but you know in the next few hours and overnight this will be transformed into a stunning stunning dish which will be a million miles away from that head so my bowl of pig parts then obviously as soon as this cools we are going to get in as you can see it pretty much comes off on its own which is how you want it and we are going to shred it off the bone sort out the fat the meat in the meantime my stock my liquor i am going to quickly strain this get it in another pan get it reducing and taste it see what the seasoning's like and then we can get on picking this which is the fun bit right on to my favorite part of making the brawn obviously what we're going to do is we're going to pick off all the meat obviously there's nothing on that bit but you get something like this obviously when it's cool enough get some gloves on it does help just pick every morsel off it because what we'll do is we'll go over this tin after and make sure we've got all the bones out look at that pure meat so 
we'll just give it a preliminary bone out just in case you're just taking your time there's a pig's trotter and it's up to you and you know the mix of skin to fat you want ratio you know you can go really old school and just put it all in but I do like a more meat centric one but you know there will be a real good mixture of fat and meat just a case of it's like picking a crab so what I like to do then is just go through get all your meaty bits you know you don't want much sinew in there yeah it is a bit of a laborious job but it's well well worth it any bones and I'm going to put my lean meat into this container and then sort out the fat bits at the end I mean look at that it's like something from a 70s porno whatever that means uh, so just obviously I wouldn't keep that bit but I keep that bit so all it is then you're sorting through your meaty bits no gristle no sinew you can see that lovely lovely meat so there's some cheek and it is mm, amazing oh yeah don't be scared you know gently sift through it so so far from my pig's head that is all pure meat and like I've said I've mixed some fat in there so it's just a case of getting your hands in obviously you want to leave a few chunks don't go a bit mad but obviously check there's no more bones in there but you can just see yeah it's not the finished product but that is pure piggy goodness pure meat look at that you wouldn't have thought it you know and if you you know make friends with your butcher he'd mostly give you a pig's head and if you make friends with the mafia they'll give you a horse's head anyhow that's that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just let that cool down a bit and then we can go through it one more time make sure there's no bones no sinew no nasty bits then we can start putting in our parsley our lemon juice and our seasoning and then it's up to you then you can play with it and make it whatever you want before we do that I just want to show you this liquor I've got to reduce this yet this is what will be sticking it all together but if you can see the natural gelatin that's formed on its own that is super pig glue imagine just taking that down to half and it will stick anything together and it tastes brilliant right I've got my stock on my filthy oven now as you can imagine from all that boiling that's going to reduce down so I can use some of the liquor to stick this all together there's my meat back into my bowl clean bowl this is a jam pan I think they're absolutely amazing you know I use them for sausage making a lot they are just a great vessel to work with so all I'm doing is just going over checking if there's any nasty bits something like that god knows what that is an eye or something I'm just separating it and then we're going to add some seasoning now the trick with charcuterie is to season it well now what happens you think you've seasoned it well put a bit more in because as it mellows so does the seasoning but the beauty with this is we can taste it I think that's looking pretty good just have a look in there all from that one pig's head so I've got a mixture of fat and the meat another undesirable bit there and what I'm going to add first of all is a load of chopped parsley so a nice big bunch of parsley just start chopping it get it nice and fine also looks good in the finished dish get chopping it I mean you can add what you want if you want to add some chilli or some cayenne pepper paprika you know you can play with it whatever you fancy you know different countries do different things I'm going to keep it quite traditionally English parsley lemon juice salt and pepper I may change my mind I don't know so I'll whack a good handful of parsley in there and already it starts to change what was that pig's head 
you know that's a million miles away that actually looks fantastic and already mm. into that I'm gonna add some lemon juice I'm not gonna stand there and squeeze lemons like a lemon you're gonna get from the supermarket or the store get some lemon juice in there and obviously some seasoning get plenty of pepper in there and like I said season taste if you think you're there just give it a little bit more because you will notice a difference when it mellows so salt which is the one so put some salt in give that a mix and obviously always check in when you're doing these if there's any more bits undesirable let's just check that oh man that tastes unbelievable so like I said I would eat that now if that was hot but we're gonna eat it cold so I'm just gonna crank a little bit more seasoning into it just a little spot of vinegar not too much just balancing it up just a little bit more lemon juice like I said crank a bit more pepper in nice peppery bite doesn't hurt anybody and then just give it that one more final blast of salt and that at this stage should taste slightly salty but will mellow in the fridge I'll tell you what you could just put that on a roll and eat that that well as you know folks out there that it's just awesome right let's get it into the molds so what I'm going to do then is just going to take a couple of ladles full of my liquor one two which will be super super sticky now just give that a mix up make sure it's all coated as you can see it's almost come together quickly so I'll add another just judge it by eye you know you want it I mean it will stick anyway because the amount of gelatin produced on the bones and the fat that is what you're looking for I think one more and that yeah will definitely be it so what we're going to do then any mold you want bread tins terrine molds jelly molds old pans or whatever you want but I have got here a really old school super cool tongue press so I'm just gonna put some in and the rest I will put into a loaf tin and use the cool trick get the lid on and then just wind it down just a little bit of pressure and for my second one I am just going to line a loaf tin with some cling film make sure you've got plenty that overlaps so sheet that way take a bit more and a sheet that way and then basically in with that mix and I remember you know 20 years ago I used to work for a guy I mean he was 72 when I worked for him his name was Henry Deus he was a pork butcher years ago they used to have butchers that would specialize in one thing and he was just one of the best I have ever worked with of course being a young man I didn't realize it at the time but the man was a genius make things like this 
you know it was just brilliant sausages he would make not buying you know bought seasonings I'd go up there and I'd see him weighing out all these things and it was a big secret you know and he never gave it away but he would make brawns and hams man he was amazing and this is harking back to those times you know when utilizing everything on the pig so we're filling that right up and as you notice you know this was just a plain pig's head if you wanted to you can make up a brine and cure it for a few days it will add a bit more color it would give it that cured taste more but you know there's no need to really so what I'm going to do fold that in nicely that's what you call a present that easy and then I'm going to cut some card cut that down a bit so I'm just going to place my card on there then and you need to weigh that down with some tins of beans or whatever but I've got a blast from the past do you remember when good old England weighed things in pounds and ounces they have to mess with everything these old weights look crazy harking back to older times the thing is it's not that long ago mad anyway I digress that one goes in the fridge with the others preferably overnight but we'll see how we go you know because I imagine you like me would like to see the finished thing we're gonna put these beauties to sleep now we'll see them in a while okay then these have been in the fridge now for 24 hours so this video is taking 36 hours it's time for the big reveal now before I reveal it you've got to remember we started off with that pig's head a bit gruesome we boiled it down we shredded it we added some aromat some herbs and we pressed it and this is where the book stops so without further ado let's do this I'm looking forward to this like I said making products like this it's a marathon not a sprint so you've got to take your time you know and there's a lot of waiting but let's see if it's all been worthwhile it's set absolutely fantastic right then let's do this and there is the finished product what a fantastic looking thing obviously the proof will be in the pudding but a million miles away from that pig's head and it tastes absolutely amazing hard to think really that that came from a pig's head I've got my little one in that press as well that's amazing Mm. and what you could do cut the slice and fry that off gently in the pan would be absolutely stunning well folks I know this has been a long haul and I hope you have enjoyed that video as much as I have making it that is a stunning end product and to my mate Mark in the Emerald Isle look at that old school thing my friend it is a thing of beauty so it just remains for me to say then if you've liked what you're seeing today on the Scott Reed project please subscribe by clicking on the button somewhere over here also follow me on Twitter at the Scott Reed project find me on Facebook at the Scott Reed project and if you're feeling generous please check out the fan funding you know if you want to make a donation to the channel it will be greatly received so like I've said you know this has been a labor of love and I love butchery charcuterie whatever you want to call it like this taking something that you know quite frankly butchers won't use and making a product of this standard so until next time take care I'm gonna to have to do it bit of Coleman's mustard sliced of me brawn all it needs now is a nice pint of cider till next time folks take care I bet you'd like a bit. All the best. See you again. Mmm.